we will be discussing about bilge system in an offshore jackup oil rig so in this presentation we will see what is the purpose of a bilge system and uh, what all, what functionality it serves so by bilge we mean oil plus water mixture so it is generally present in machinery spaces so the equipments which we will see in the presentation includes bilge pumps bilge holding tank oily water separator and dirty oil tank okay we will see about bilge system uh, we have generally two bilge independently powered bilge pumps in the system so this will take suction from bilge wells so bilge wells are located in the machinery space like we discussed earlier bilge wells are used for collecting bilges so machinery spaces include like main generator room a fire pump room air compressor room sewage treatment plant room fresh water maker room or mud pump room sack room etc all these spaces have bilge wells which collect all the dirty oily water mixture called bilges from bilge well suction is taken to bilge pumps which is discharged to bilge holding tank so bilge holding tank stores the uh, bilges and oily water separator takes suction from bilge holding tank so oily water separator is the equipment which separates oil and water and the clean fluid separated is pumped overboard so when we mention clean fluid there is a criteria that oil content in the clean fluid separated should be less than 15 ppm so the oil content monitor which is present in the oil water separator measures the output of the oil water separator and ensures that only water which meets the criteria is pumped overboard and the remaining residue oil is kept in sludge tank or dirty oil tank which eventually is pumped to a supply vessel we cannot pump this to uh, sea water i mean overboard so it is supplied to uh, a supply vessel and the suction side of all bilge wells has stop check valves this is to prevent cross contamination of bilges like bilges taken from one bilge well in a room should not go to go and mix with the next bilge well in next room so this has to be prevented so prevent as a safety and hazard aspect to prevent this cross contamination we provide stop check wells which is a combination of stop valve and check valve or a single valve like sdnr valve screw down non turn valve can be used for this purpose and sufficient isolation valves will be provided in the system also in the build system like in mud pump rooms and sack room there is mud accumulation forming inside the build well due to loose mud which gets scattered in the rooms room so this mud accumulates in the build wells so to pump out this mud we use a diaphragm bilge pump which is actually air supplied uh, bilge pump it can be portable or fixed type so there is a system we can see the photo of bilge pump also diaphragm pump so there is a bilge system concept in detail now we will move to the bilge system drawing so in the drawing we can see suction of bilge lines from various parts of the rig also we can see suction is taken from preload tanks which is for stripping function when the water content inside payload tanks even after dumping the payload tanks there will be water content inside payload tank so to pump out that water which is the process called stripping we use the bilge system so th that is an addition to the bilge, bilge uh, suction purpose bilge system is also employed for stripping in an offshore oil rig this drawing details the bilge system discharge uh, Part. like in discharge we uh, learned that the bilge pumps discharge it to bilge holding tank so what we are seeing is a bilge well so the pipe which we see here in the photo is a suction pipe various photos of bilge well so inside bilge well a uh, suction line at the end part there is a strainer which is also called cross box now we will see bilge pumps various arrangement of bilge pumps so bilge pumps are centrifugal pumps which have self priming capability 
and these pumps generally in offshore jacket bricks the capacity varies from 80 meter cube to 140 meter cube that is a flow rate capacity and the head varies from around 40 meters to 60 meters depending on the uh, rig design so now we will see what we are seeing is a sludge pump so sludge pump as we discussed earlier used for pumping sludge or dirty oil from the dirty oil tank to supply vessel so sludge pumps capacity generally ranges from 15 meter cube per hour to 25 meter cube per hour so this sludge pumps is a, actually a rotor type uh, or like screw type pump so where it can pump high viscosity uh, dirty fluids so that is the purpose we will go to we will see the bilge holding tank so bilge holding tank as we discussed earlier is used for storage of bilge water so insert bilge holding tank this tank is also known as skimmer tank inside bilge holding tank we have baffles which are kept to uh, separate fluids of different density like water will have a, a higher density which will be settling down and oil is less denser so it will be on the generally on the upper part so separation can be done with baffles that is a process which we do which is done naturally in a bilge holding tank and from this from here bilge holding tank the air suction is taken to oily water separator which we earlier discussed in the system now this is a picture of oily water separator the first the picture which we see is a Watsila make oily water separator and the second one is RWO make oily water separator okay so that is a build system in detail uh, in in a, just a, that is a concept of build system which we discussed now if you have any queries please send the queries to the email which is mentioned in the description along with the video thank you